with the 2.4 million square foot Kobo Center located on the banks of the Detroit River, the Autorama Hot Rod Show not only showcases beautiful cars, but it also includes a variety of additional displays, vendors, and entertainment that make this one of the best shows around. Many businesses and organizations strive to do their part for the preservation, support, and future growth of the car hobby. Detroit Muscle Motor City is really going to do is we promote car shows. Uh, we've got one of the partners is uh, Rick Dyer, has been two-time world champion, uh, world fastest street car. He does uh, Detroit Muscle Motor City Motorsports. It actually builds race cars, uh, restorations, and things like that. But you want to take a motor and, and, and go from uh, 200 horsepower to 800 horsepower, we can do that. Uh, fabrication of chassis, rear ends, all the way to body and paint, interiors. There's nothing we can't do. Being a gearhead is something that's in my blood. It'll never change. I can't get it out, and if it's all about saying you're going to grow up, I'll never grow up. I've, I've been in. I, I grew up in Detroit, which is the Motor City. As far as I'm concerned, there's no other place to be. What's also great to see here at the Autorama is the interest in this hobby by the upcoming generations. Most likely growing up with wrench heads for parents, this next group of car building young guns is also being supported by a number of the local high schools. Here not only do they learn a long list of mechanical and body shop skills, but they're also learning the importance of teamwork and camaraderie. I'm sure we'll see many of these students own cars in future Autoramas. The Autorama is a show with something for just about everyone. Live music, celebrities, movie and TV cars, motorcycles, bicycles, and even a model car contest. Anything with wheels is an attraction at the Autorama. I've been here displaying my bicycles at Autorama for at least 18 years, and there's a lot of people that collect these bicycles because of the muscle car era. My favorite bicycle is my green lime stingray that I ro rode around here at Autorama this morning, matter of fact. It brings back a lot of memories for people to come here and see this display. My childhood past is basically what it is. A lot of the Hot Wheels, a lot of the Matchbox, uh, toys that I played with as a kid. I've had a lot of kids here today. They've seen the stuff and they almost want to jump in and play with the stuff as well as I do, you know. <laughs> If you're a gearhead who's into the real grassroots of the car hobby, the basement level at Kobo is the place to be. Rockabilly and surfing music, pinup girls, greasers, and of course rusted and primered cars with little or no chrome. This isn't just another car club or fad. This is a culture with a following of traditionalists and just plain old garage building hot rodders. It's a 1951 GMC with all the, the motor, the tranny, everything's out of a high school car I drove. It sat behind my mom and dad's pole barn for 15 years. And we tore all the drivetrain out of it and put it in this. It's a rat rod, but safety was a big key in the build with disc brakes that make sure it's welded right and everything's fabbed up strong and everybody looks at it, thinks that it's unsafe, but it's, that runs straight down the road at 70 miles an hour. We just like coming down here, it's a real laid back show. 
We come down here, we drink a couple beers. It's fun, like Friday nights, they do the pin-up contest, which is a traditional pin-up contest. We like coming down here to watch the rockabilly bands. Here's a 1951 Chevy two-door sedan. Um, it's built gasser style. It's a replica of a car that was in Cleveland, Ohio, named by Gene Schwartz. Uh, the car is all steel. I tried to replicate and build the car the way it would have been in 65, 66 era. It's got a uh, big black Chevy, Hillborn injected on alcohol. Built the car myself in my uh, garage at home. I went to Idaho, picked up a body out of a junkyard, dragged it back home. Typical night working on the car is working all darn day and then coming home, grabbing something quick to eat out of the house and then getting my ass out in the garage and uh, working. I mean, just working sometimes two, three in the morning. Sometimes I pulled all nighters. Yeah, there's friends that come over and help do some things here and there. Some brothers help, dad even helps. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be a gearhead for the rest of my life. I'm Eric and I'm a backyard wrench head. Hope you enjoyed our special presentation of the 2009 Detroit Autorama on Backyard Wrench Heads TV. And whether your passion is for the lead sleds, the high boys, or the muscle cars, the Detroit Autorama will hopefully be showcasing these incredible machines for decades to come.